and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. It was a historic ascent into space marred with setbacks. And while Boeing Starliner did successfully deliver its two astronauts, their mission just got a whole lot longer. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February. Uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams have already been at the International Space Station for over two months following their June 6 test launch that didn't go as smoothly as hoped. Now less than three meters away from the International Space Station. As the capsule approached the ISS, some of its thrusters failed, stranding the astronauts. They will now come home early next year aboard a SpaceX Dragon ferry ship. We have had mistakes done in the past. We lost two space shuttles as a result of there not being a, a culture in which information could come forward. Space flight is risky, even at its safest. Our core value is safety, and it is our North Star. Welcome aboard the International Space Station first. Uh, it's a great place to be, a great place to live, a great place to work. This is the third test flight for the veteran astronauts who have been preparing for everything and anything. Failure is not an option. That's why we are staying here now. Canada's newest appointed astronaut says if anyone can handle a longer mission, it's Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. This is an incredible time in human spaceflight, and we have to be prepared for suboptimal um, uh, outcomes, bumps along the road, and just you have to be committed to working the problem when these bumps arise and doing so in the safest and most uh, risk mitigatory fashion possible. NASA and Boeing say they have made significant progress in understanding what went wrong with the thrusters and the helium leaks have stabilized. Starliner could be back unmanned as early as September 6. We are still in the middle of a test flight. We have to remain vigilant. Um, we need to get the vehicle back on deck. It's an out-of-this-world story hitting two families very close to home. Yeah, you just so, sort of have to roll with it, and you sort of expect the unexpected. There could be more of that in the months ahead. Jamie Dahl, Global News, Calgary.